Before starting design or construction for the inland rail project, the project team undertook investigations of the land and environment the railway passes through. Our engineers and scientists need to know as much as they can about the environment to choose the right locations and materials for the tracks, bridges and tunnels. We go and collect, collect the, the, the geotechnical samples uh, to help inform the, the next designers. Sample location selection is a very important part of the investigation and the design. We know what we're drilling for, we know what we're looking for. There are lots of different tools and machines used to investigate and understand the environment. Large drilling machines dig deep holes into the ground and bring up samples of rock and soil for engineers and scientists to observe, measure and test. The sampling we've done on, on the Inland Rail project for this section involved the use of um, quite a varied degree of equipment, anywhere from a shovel right through to drill rigs that had masts up to 30 metres tall. They test the way the rock and soil behaves when it is pushed, pulled, dried or soaked with water, all to see how the ground reacts in different conditions. We do the testing because engineers like to have mathematical parameters of the soils that they're designing with. A train imparts a load onto the ground and we need to understand how the ground, the soil and the rock underneath the rail formation reacts to that load as that train passes over. Observing, measuring and testing the strength of the ground below the track is important. Because if it's not strong enough when a fast moving heavy train travels across the railway line, the track might move or sink, causing the track to be unsafe and the trains to stop. And the ground below the railway has to stay strong in all kinds of weather conditions. Wind, rain, extreme heat. These are all factors our engineers have to plan for. Once the underground materials have been investigated, the safest places to build the track can be planned. Engineers will design bridges and tunnels to make sure the railway can safely travel across weaker sections of ground. Sometimes sections of weak ground are removed and replaced by stronger soil and rock materials to safely support the track. <laughs>